Hey girls, it's Monday. I'm hoping to more consistently be here on Monday since this is my last week of school. It's not even a real week of school for me. I didn't have class today because of finals and so I have one real final and a paper to write and then I'm done with school. So hopefully my face will be here on Mondays. Except for in July. July is gonna be a bit crazy. But I don't feel as badly about last week since everyone was a day late. Makes me feel better. I don't know if you can tell too much in this light, but I'm very sunburned and I'm already peeling. So yeah, that's what I get for spending four hours on a boat on the ocean and not wearing any sunblock. Anyway, enough with the chit chat, I have a bag to show you and a book to talk about, so let's get on that. This week I read Maureen Johnson's Devilish, and I'm sure you all know by now that I'm in love with Maureen Johnson, she's amazing, and this book really isn't an exception. But can we talk about the cover a little bit? I know that you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but this cover, to me, is really unappealing, it just looks overly girly and not something I would ever pick up if it wasn't by Maureen Johnson. Am I the only one who judges books by their covers? I know it's not something you're supposed to do, but I do it. Anyway, this book is about a girl named Jane who goes to a Catholic school and she's constantly worrying about her best friend Allison who has trouble fitting in and just is a little bit hysterical at times. Then one day Allison comes to school and she's chopped off and dyed her hair and is wearing different clothes than she used to and acts completely different and starts ignoring Jane a little bit. That's really all I can say about the book without giving too much away. The entire book just completely changes halfway through. You go from this kind of girly high school drama type book to something completely different. It's very different than the other books that I've read by Maureen Johnson, but at the same time it still has her amazing writing her ability to write wonderfully developed characters, and she's so good at nerd references. There is a nerd reference in every Maureen Johnson book that I've read so far. Partway through the book I wasn't sure if I was enjoying it, but I really liked the way it ended and the way everything turned out, so I would say that it's a good book and you guys should read it if you haven't. Now on to my bookish purse, although my purse isn't bookish. If I have a book that I'm reading that's pretty small, I'll carry it in my purse, like I was carrying Devilish around with me and The Perks of Being a Wallflower for a while while I was reading those, but I don't always have books in my purse because it's not super big. This is my purse. It's very pink, which is weird because I'm not really a pink person, but I like this purse a lot. It's kind of falling apart a little bit though. Side pouch number one contains this teeny little monkey eraser that can go on a pencil top, also a cupcake eraser, a bunch of bobby pins, a teeny tiny little receipt from my favorite taqueria, cinnamon lip shine from Bath and Body Works, Rimmel lip gloss, and fruit smoothies chapstick. I have a lot of lip stuff in here. A Disney princess pen, a green pen, the love of my life, Falcor. A lot of times when people see my iPod they're like, wow you have an old iPod. I bought this less than a year ago when my old one got stolen. I just like having a big iPod that can fit all my music. I have over 8,000 songs on here, so not a fan of tiny little iPods. Another receipt from another taqueria. Headphones. Skyway flyer glasses. A bookmark that my friend's grandma gave me at church yesterday with a little Bible verse on it. A dental card. My keys. Car keys. House key giant aerial keychain, CVS card, library card, and bell lanyard. More pens. Tylenol. Yet more pens, including an aerial pen. Best wallet ever. My favorite kind of lotion, hand cashmere. Oh, it's so nice. What a surprise. Another pen. Mints from when I went to go see Peter Pan. Oh. Free Starbucks drink, I should probably get that before it expires. Pirate Mad Libs, which we did while waiting to go see the newest pirates on Thursday. And last, but definitely not least, my Sonic. Stella, I'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs> 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 <laughs>